what's up guys so let me make this real quick because uh kind of got a head start on this stuff um i'm dealing with a 98 volkswagen it's a jetta glx gls all those mark three models are practically the same um you're gonna have the big brakes in the front might have drums in the back or it might have the conversion with the drums i mean with the rotors already in the in the rear calipers and all on this one you will need a 17. There we 17 here i already broke i already broke it loose on this end one that's two right here with that guy Right, you need a 17. <clears throat> okay, go in your toolbox. You're gonna need a seven millimeter Allen key head. Peep, you're gonna remove. Oh, damn, I dropped it. These little puppies that goes right here. Just Pop them out with a flathead. You can remove it with your finger. Whatever makes you feel better. Um, but that's, you know, me, I like to crack them loose just in case I want to remove pads afterwards. That's just me, you know. Um, you need an 11 for this little bad boy. And if you don't have an 11, then you're going to have to use an adjustable wrench. Good luck. That's all I have to really say. Degrease them, please, because these bitches suck. I degreased them a couple of days prior. I will not degrease them. You know, spray some PB Blaster. So, the future of what's going to happen here as well, I'm gonna explain while I replace this. <clears throat> this is basically, I'm working on my project car. I'm gonna pop this out. you want to do so uh, I'm basically winging it right now because it's my first time actually working on this car um, first time I working on my car well my brakes box take it to the journey objective right now is now that I have that unlocked so basically this is just a bungee cord to catch it just in case you know it falls you know it's not going to break if it falls I mean you would not be happy if it did but either way I prefer it to fall on the bungee cord instead of the actual brake line which is this little buddy right here Obviously, use the number 11 to remove that. And let's proceed forward. Gotta get a little drippy right now. Got a couple washes, so indicating to me that once I remove this little bad boy, be right there, buddy. You're gonna have two, right? You never want to put one on top of the other. What basically you got to do is remove one, leave one in there. Got the second one right there. All right. New hardware is always, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care what your man says, your mechanic says. Just put the new damn hardware in there. Because it's going to save you fucking time, money, and headache. You're going to look at your mechanic or whoever like what's going on here but um 
idea. It's gonna probably be crushed like this one. Just try to get a hold of that. Wow. <laughs> Looks like there's really being a pain in the ass. I might have to work on that again. Once again, these become crushed once you once you tighten them up. Call it a day. This one is pretty exaggerated. It has to come out. Looks like bad boy as such. Next washer. Pop that in there as such. hand tighten well that's just me I hand tighten everything first add a little pressure now that's now locked in ladies and gentlemen I'll tell you the work is practically done that is the most annoying part of the mall well, so you don't gotta do that switching over to 17 pretty good to be honest with you. You could still rock it. Um, you could tell they had some Viper Tech right there. So, or some anti -seas. We'll go to the top now. So what I'm gonna do instead of using the ratchet, unscrew it with my hand with the socket and try to catch the caliper with my other hand so it doesn't fall. Okay. 
Maybe never hurts. It's just love taps. Oh, uh, gentle screw. There we go. Just trying to stop the bleeding there for a little bit. Just put this pull right back. <clears throat> Literally comes off just like that. Bam. Basically just follow the steps and reverse. Well, basically, I'm gonna just throw it back on, but it's like practically it, you know what I'm saying? I wanna see if I could actually, do I have to remove? Oh no, look at that. So technically, you could just remove the caliper entirely. And then remove the pads without having. <clears throat> good, good. Oh, okay. See that little puppy right there? Goes inside the this little bad boy. So. <clears throat> I will be doing some fuckery. But since I want to slap this little guy in first, I shall have to. Basically, how would you basically run it if you had brand new everything, which I'm doing later. I have to go to the store and get the, what is this book is called? Why are you doing such pain in my ass? Let's do it. Just being a pain in the ass, so it's not gonna be that bad to do. Top first. So that was every mechanic's fear when you think you got the bolt in. Something comes right off. Money. 
show you guys how to recycle this money. Get your money's worth out of AutoZone and all these auto parts. Locations. Believe me, you want to get at least the silver stuff for the warranty. But if you can, get the gold or the platinum. That shit's lifetime. Don't judge me yet, guys, because, like I said, I gotta go run to the store. We'll swap these out, go get the pads. I got the rears already, and then I'm able to order the rotors. Bada bing, bada boom. My buddy's gonna slide by some other time this month, maybe next month. God knows when, because, you know, busy, busy schedules. So. You know, you gotta do it when God allows you to do it. There you go. I'm gonna make sure that puppy is tight. Right there, that's the wrong uno. And that's two. Grab that 11, as you never forget, tying down your bolts. Ready? Just a little beep. Right there. You don't want to do nothing more than that right there. Just literally, that's it. No mas. You don't want to strip it. Those little puppies, that's what they're there for. Lock them in. That's Gooch, believe me. That's Gooch, my boy. So. That's that, gang. And if you really want to get jiggy with it with this, so. What you want to do is you want to pop these little puppies out. Make sure that they are tight. That way, when you go do your brake lines, there you go, see? Just need a little bit of, little bit of love in there. Close it back up. That's what's prevents it from uh, corroding. Yo, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Making a video over here. See that one's nice and tight. Perfect. That's how you want that one. Where? And that's that. Throw your wheel back on. Show me. Let's double switch this camera. Guess it doesn't want to switch, but. That's what we're working on. Like I said, gotta go order these puppies. The rotors, you can use the money you get from the calipers back. Go get the pads, lifetime, warranty amount, forever. Same thing with the rotors, same thing with the calipers. So really think about it. You're only like paying one time for these, but these puppies. What you wanna do is if you wanna get your brake lines, do it, fuck it. Cause it's literally a disconnect from here. That's why I'm doing them new. Cause you see that? Disgusting, absolutely atrocious. Everything's gotta go. Y'all gonna witness this. But alright, yo. Till next time, gang.